In this video, I'm going to show you five very simple ways to stop hooking the golf ball. The hook is a horrible shot when you're hitting your driver that curves viciously around to the left hand side, often resulting in a lost ball. I'm going to show you five ways to simply fix it and stay tuned to number four and five because they are absolutely essential. So the first thing we're going to talk about is club face control. And the thing that controls the club face the most is how we hold the golf club, the grip. Now, players who typically hook the golf ball, curving off to the left-hand side, will hold it in a fashion that's too strong. And that doesn't actually mean the tightness of the grip, it just means the hand positioning. So a golfer who hooks it will typically have their top hand too far over the top of the grip and the bottom hand too far underneath. This is what a hook golfer will typically do. And what that in turn ends up doing is turning the club face too much to the left. So if you wanna fix the hook, you've gotta change that grip. You have gotta weaken the grip. So what we're looking for here is making sure when we take hold of the golf club with our top hand, the strap, the emblem on the strap here is more facing towards the target. And then when the right hand goes on, it sits slightly more on top of the club as opposed to underneath. So strap on your glove more towards your target and right hand slightly more on top of the golf club. Now for a player who hooks it, what you might find first is you'll ha actually hit a shot that goes straight right. It's not perfect yet, but stay tuned because the other little tips will help you hit it straighter. Once you've changed your grip, a player who hooks it will typically hit one that goes literally straight right. And if you do, do not worry. What you will see is much more height. You'll probably have hit it better and you've stopped to hook and that's important. On to number two. And number two is club face during the takeaway and the backswing. A golfer who hooks it, again a reminder of that shot that curves viciously, viciously to the left, will typically in the takeaway have the club face pointing down to the ground too much. The club face would be in too much of a closed position and at the top of the golf swing, a player who hooks it would have too much bow in the wrist. Again, causing the club face to be too closed at the top of the backswing. And what typically happens then when you're a hooker of the golf ball, if that club face is closed so much, you as a golfer will be desperately trying to swing it off to the right. And those two different contrasts between the direction of the club swing and the club face causes the hook. So if you want to fix the hook, you've got to look at changing the club face in the takeaway and the top of the backswing. What you want to be looking at is in this takeaway position, the club face to be just slightly leaning forward. So the toe of the head is just slightly in front of the heel. Now for a golfer who has the club face closed, that might feel like you're almost opening the club face. It might feel like you got the club face aiming up to the sky. Try that first. And then the very top of the golf swing, feel like the left wrist and the forearm are much straighter with each other as opposed to bending that wrist angle too much. Have the back of the grip and the forearm nice and straight with each other. So number two, club face control. Once you've got those elements right, again, you might hit it slightly to the right, but you will not hook the ball. In fairness, I've hit that arrow straight. Let's get on to number three. Number three, club face control through the ball. Linking in again to the grip and the club face in the backswing, a golfer who hooks the ball is typically over rotating the club face through the ball. This club face is turning way too aggressively. Often a player will be using their hands too much, their wrists, and in turn getting that club face to close way too aggressively as they come to hit the shot. So if you're a hooker of the golf ball, this is what I want you to work on. Have this feeling as you're coming through the shot that your arms are extending through the golf ball 
with very little wrist rotation, but just a little bit of forearm rotation. Just notice there, my right forearm has just crossed over my left forearm, just slightly. Again, if you're a hooker of the golf ball, feel like you're doing that to an absolute bare minimum. So coming through the shot, not letting this club face close down too much, not using the wrists. As soon as you start using the wrists, that's when that ball sharp, very sharply turns to the left. And get this feeling that you're just extending your arms through with a very little bit of arm rotation. This now you'll start to see, start to see a little bit straighter golf shots. Oh, just a nice little draw. Yeah, you take that. If you're a hooker of the golf ball, you take that shot every single day. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video so far, make sure you hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos. Now, I said at the start of the video, number four and number five are the most important. And I'm not exaggerating about that. All this club face control would have made a big difference if you're a hooker of the golf ball. What you would probably be doing right now, if you'd followed those instructions, you'll probably be hitting the golf ball up that right hand side, but you will not be hooking it. So now what we've got to work on is how we align to the golf shot before the final secret, well not secret ingredient, but the most important ingredient in number five. So if you are a player who hooks the golf ball, what you would have probably done over time without massively realizing, you would have got your body alignment moving more to the right hand side. If you're shaping the ball aggressively to the left, without question, you would have started to adjust your body alignment consciously or subconsciously more towards that right hand side. And believe it or not, that fuels the fire to hitting those hooks. So what you've got to look at here is feeling like your body is much more open through the shot. So I'm going to stand up behind the ball here, pick a point that's in line with my fairway. So I'm picking a point that's just up here in front of me, just an old kind of blade of grass or whatever it may be. And if you are a hooker of the golf ball, this is what I want you to feel like. I want you to feel like your body alignment is going to the left of your target line. This is my target line. As I set up to the golf ball here, I want to have this sensation that my body alignment, if anything, is going more to the left of my target line. You could have your club head at your target, but your feet, your knees, your hips, your shoulder position, have this sensation that they're all going more down that left-hand side of the fairway. This is so key, so key. And record yourself, get a mate to take a video, take some pictures, whatever it takes, but get that adjustment in your game. If you hook the golf ball, feel like you're aiming more left and you'll start to see a very, very different shot shape. For example, you'll see a shot that does a little bit more like that. Just notice how that curved slightly left to right, more of a fade shot. And if you are a hooker of a golf ball, you would love to see a shot shape like that, that fades back into the fairway. Right, number five, possibly the most important. It's what you're doing with your swing path through the ball. So again, linking all of these elements together, all these simple ways to help you fix your hook from your grip to your club face, to the way you align, all of these things have an influence. But one thing you'd have, again, probably taught yourself because of those strong club face being closed, you'd have ta taught yourself to swing way more off to the right, to swing this club from the inside and down that right-hand side, trying desperately to fix that hook. So what you need to grab is something that's gonna teach you to change that swing path. I just need to grab my head cover, one sec. So if you grab your head cover, something soft, so that if you do hit it, it's not gonna be the end of the world. And for a hooker of the golf ball, place it on the inside of the golf ball, around about kind of a foot inside your line. If you swing normally, if we rewind back to when you first are hitting those hooks, 
I would almost guarantee your club, as it comes down, would be making contact with this head cover. What you've got to do is teach yourself to swing slightly the other way. So following all those pieces of instructions so far, the grip, the club face, coming through the ball, making sure the face doesn't shut down too much, getting your alignment traveling more down the left hand side. And then finally get this feeling as you're coming down into the ball, your swing direction is more across the ball. So you're swinging more from outside to in. If you can get that last ingredient, you will not hit a hook, I promise you. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you smash like. Five very simple ways to help you stop hooking the golf ball. That's this last one, we're gonna swing more across the ball. And our dream golf shot is one that fades, the complete opposite to that hooked golf shot. Oh, and for somebody who hooks the golf ball, that shot is a dream. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And that's five ways to fix your hook.